Hi beautiful! A lot of you have been asking me to create more hair, fashion, nail, and makeup tutorials. So an idea popped in my head. Inspired by Sailor Moon and Captain Planet, these gorgeous ladies here, including myself, are combining our forces to create this multifaceted tutorial. Cosmic Candy. Okay, let's start with Desi. If you're getting bored of your plain black t-shirt or shorts, look no further than the stars for inspiration. You'll need a few sponges, brushes, glitter spray, pastel fabric paints, and a spray bottle filled with water. Wet your sponge and load it up with a lavender shade. Start dabbing the paint onto the shorts. When you're painting anything galaxy inspired, it's all about creating depth with these colors. Make sure to blend out any harsh edges. Now that you have the base done, it's time to layer more colors to give your shorts more dimension. Take a light neutral shade, like a white or silver, and use this as a highlighter. Wherever it feels two-dimensional, highlight. Continue adding depth using mid-tone colors like magenta and teal. And you can add that cosmic touch by carefully flicking white paint from a small brush. Look, you just created stars. Pretty. Be one with the galaxy shorts. Blend out the edges as needed and repeat these steps to continue layering for your desired look. And if you feel like you're at a good place, use your small brush again for the finishing touches. It's all about the details. Here, you can create starburst, planets, whatever. For that extra effect, spray a little bit of that silver or white color, thus creating a sprinkle of star clusters. Moving on to Kristen. If you want to recreate her out of this world nail look, you'll need some makeup brushes. These are denser than regular art sponges and will ensure even application. To start, take a protective base coat and layer this on your nails. Now you can coat an iridescent white polish on top of the base coat. Depending on your polish formula, you will only need one to two coats. Now just top it off with a light pastel pink color. Because you'll have several layers of paint on your nails, you're in this awkward stage where you can't really do anything that requires serious hand movements. So you can watch your favorite show, read a book, or go online. Basically, kill time. At least 10 minutes for your nails to dry completely. No one is perfect, that's why nail polish remover was invented. So load up an old eyeliner brush with nail polish remover and clean up any smudges. Perfect. Colors you will need are a magenta purple shade, a vibrant pink, and a powder blue. And if you want a more subtle look, focus on creating a statement nail instead of painting all of them. You can paint directly on the sponge, combining all the colors and press this onto your nail. You want to use this time to experiment. So unleash your inner Monet. Using the pointed edge of a cuticle stick, toothpick, paperclip, basically anything pointy, make little crosses and dots to recreate the stars. All right, from here, just top off your nails with glitter. Now it's time to dry. That means time to veg out and be a princess because you can't do anything with wet nails. Once you're in the clear, add a clear glossy top coat. And you're done. So pretty. Sailor Moon would dig this. Crispy's hair color will change depending on her mood. Now she's gonna show you how to give your hair that galactic edge using hair chalk. First thing first, make sure you're wearing a shirt that you're not gonna miss because chalking is messy. The night before, prep your hair with a leave-in conditioner because chalk is drying. To begin, take a small section of hair, focusing on the ends, place it between the makeup sponge and blue hair chalk. Press lightly and pull through to get the best color payoff. Repeat this step using a green color, applying it above the blue for a gradient effect. And after you've done a third of your hair, spray it with hairspray to set it before the color can transfer or shake off. Repeat these steps until all your ends have been chalked and set. Once you're done, show and tell. Take a selfie and tag us. Moving on to Katie, she's here with a space age lip look. Just be sure your lips are clean and prepped. Take a nude cream lipstick and load this color on your lips. This will neutralize your natural lip tone, helping the color stand out. Using a fluffy brush, apply a white iridescent loose pigment all over your lips. Now with a purple pigment, brush this color along the inner corner of your mouth, deepening the color as you go. Do the same with a teal shade, placing it along the outer inner corner. Using a pearly blue color, blend out the edges of the teal shadow onto your cupid's bow and lower lip. And with a bright magenta color, do the same to the purple color. 
And to bridge everything together, use a rose gold color on your lower lip and blend. If you want to accentuate fullness, with an iridescent white pigment, pat this along the center of your lower lip to complete your look. Gorgeous. A unicorn would approve. Eyes inspired by the bright colors of space. Start applying an iridescent vanilla color on your lids as a base. Using a baby blue shadow with your shadow brush, place this color directly on your crease and blend back and forth. Find a matte pink color and apply this shadow right on the empty spot, focusing on the inner half of your eye. Ready to make your eyes sparkle? Literally. Find a glitter liner that has a purple undertone and draw a line as close to the lash line as possible, winging it out towards the end. With the creamy white eyeliner, apply this along the lower waterline, an inner corner for a highlighting effect. For that bold accent, use an electric blue liner and line your lower lash line, gently applying along the lower waterline as well. You wanna be sure to stay towards the outer corner of the eye, slightly blending it into the white eye pencil. Give your lashes a good curl from root to tip because what we really wanna do is make this electric blue mascara stand out on your beautifully curled lashes. Sweep a generous amount of mascara on the top and bottom lashes. If you're a highlighting freak like myself, highlight your inner corner with a little more glitter. And with your white eyeliner, highlight your brow bone and blend out with a brush. Finished, your cosmic candy inspired eyes are done. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are inspired by all these fantastic looks created by these gorgeous ladies. Don't forget to show them some love. Mwah. Let me know which look you're gonna try out. Tag me online so that perhaps I can spotlight your work. Love you forever, dreamers. Mwah. Good luck.